join me in welcoming the rest of Rubber Legs! Oh, yeah, hi! Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, so you, I'll take over from here, Brad. Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Tom. I'm Peter. I'm Jimmy. My name is Brad Bagley. Alyssa. And we are Rubber Legs. We're here every Friday night. Uh, we're going to do some improv for you. We're going to do a suggestion. We're going to do a, a scene and some character monologues and then create a whole new world. Now, to get us started, what should we get? Like a lyric? Yeah. Yeah. Throw out like a song lyric or a line of poetry that's like, you or know. A video could, game title. My heart goes on. My oh, heart yeah. goes on. That's a great video game. Yeah, but this yeah. is a great video game. We got one. My heart goes on. <laughs> Clear. <laughs> Will it? No. Sorry, we'll go on. <laughs> We did everything we could. We did. That's the one trick I know. It's a good trick. Thanks. I, uh, I perfected it. Well, there's nothing to do but wash our hands now, so. Do you care to join me? I'd love to. Uh, somebody's going to have to tell the family. So. Oh, oh, boy. You know, how, uh, you know how anxious I get about telling the family that. That a heart would not go on. It would not. <laughs> I wish I would realized uh, sooner. Well, mm -hmm. I didn't. So it goes. Uh, I, like how, I like how we talk glibly about it to disguise the real pain we oh, feel inside. I'm a mess. Oh, I feel really terrible. You know what it's like to watch someone die right in front of you? Yes, it just happened. It's yeah. real rough, and but I'm glad that we can just talk about it like... You know, like we don't care about anything. Oh. I like how you dry your hands on your pants. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> that's your method. Like, that's the cleanest thing that's gone on these pants all day. Okay. So. <laughs> don't want to probe that too deeply. Uh, it's mud and guts. Just for fun. <laughs> Should we try to defibrillate again? Did I say defribble? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. So I'm like, <laughs> when we joke like this, yeah. it makes me like forget that there's like a dead person oh. with, with loved ones. In front yeah, of this us. person like Isn't that great? has the soul departed yet. I don't know. <laughs> is a, is there a soul? <laughs> what? Uh, right, you know what? Let's try it again. Oh, uh, we have fun, you and I, oh, Chad. No, no. Still won't go on. the pulse. Yep. Right, now I have to wash my hands again. <laughs> you got me. You got me. I got you. The old classic touch every of time bottle. you fall for it. Every, every time. time. <laughs> you got such bad eczema on that hand. Oh yeah, it's terrible. <laughs> terrible. Oh, I shouldn't be touching patients. No, quite you frankly, should. you shouldn't. <laughs> Good thing they're all dead. <laughs> I'm so glad we can joke about it. It's so great. You know, uh, I was reading about PTSD the other day, and I probably have it. That's okay, though. Oh, yeah, I, it's I fun can't to sleep at all. It's fun to joke about it. I cannot it's fun sleep. To I just numb my pain with drugs and alcohol. Really? Do you yeah. know a good dealer? Oh, yeah, I know a great dealer. That's fantastic. A great yeah. deal of dealers. <laughs> There's a dead person. Oh, my God. Well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh. So the afterlife, huh? I know. Do you think it's real? Probably not. Oh, I don't know. I mean, we're men of science, so we, we don't, I don't believe in it. You know, a lot of science and faith and... They... Wait, what did Einstein say? Like, <laughs> science without religion is blind, but religion without science is lame. Something to that effect. Sure. <laughs> sure. Suppose. Yeah, Einstein's smart guy. So I like, know. Also dead. It, don't make me think about it. Okay. Don't make me think about it. You almost had me there. What? I almost had to screw my brain at the thought of... Yeah. One day, that, that could be, that'll be us. Maybe us, we'll be oh, dead. Yeah. We'll have oh, some boy. glib and ease, uh, just making jokes. Oh, boy. You know, it just feels good to get my blood-spattered gown off and just call it a day. Isn't it good? You know what I, I like after a day like this is to defibrillate myself just with hey. one. Just with one. <laughs> It's, it's a little, that's good oh, it feels a lot. It reminds you that you're alive, oh, yeah. unlike the person who just died on our it bench. It did, it did. Exactly. Well, 
I want you to go tell them because, like I said, I'm bad at confronting people. <laughs> All right, you know what? I owe you. You bought me that coffee this morning. I did. I will tell the family that their loved one has shuffled off the mortal coil. And might be in hell, for all we know. Yeah, that's true. Hell. Hell. Are the years sneaking up on you? You look in the mirror, you look down, you look back up, next thing you know, you're 10 years older. Part of age comes uh, adding on some weight. But here at Friendlies, we want to help you out. <laughs> if you think you've had too much ice cream, well, guess what? We've got just the thing for you. It's a defibrillator. <laughs> <laughs> you can have ice cream no problem with friendlies. You can just eat as much as you want, and those pounds aren't going to chase you. Time might still sneak up on your back, but guess what? With a defibrillator, all that ice cream is going to be no problem. Come on down to friendlies. We're your friend. All right. <laughs> I assume you already tried the police. That's why you came to me, <laughs> Madam Bogarty. See, I've seen the other side. I slipped through. My doctor had just seen a funny episode of Seinfeld. So him and his co-surgeon talked for five minutes. I laid there brain dead. Then they brought me back. And you've heard what happened. People bring me things, I touch them, and I know things. So give me that sock. We'll find your cat. <laughs> People always ask me, Al, how'd you think of starting a second-hand hospital equipment store? <laughs> <laughs> I say, well, I just saw all that wasted hospital equipment. And I said, somebody's got to be able to use this. And they did. <laughs> they did. And at first I got a lot of complaints. A lot of complaints. This isn't working. <laughs> it said positive, it was negative. <laughs> and I had to remind them, in life, there are no guarantees. <laughs> Just like with refurbished hospital equipment. <laughs> you think they look the same, but you can tell. Wow, they look the same to me. You think they're the same, but they, you know, there's a difference, you can tell. I don't go a day without matching my socks, and I'm not going to go a day without matching my medical gloves. <laughs> you're, you're wasting valuable time trying to match gloves. Just put one glove on your hand. Hey, put the next glove that you find on your other. <laughs> oh, so then I can just fumble the scalpel, and next thing you know it's in the wall like a dartboard? If you're fumbling <laughs> the scalpel, Gary, it's because you suck. <laughs> it's not because of the faulty, mismatched latex glove. <laughs> How do you hold up right there? You have to excuse your father. You see, he was he was a surgeon before you were, and I know, he, I he rides you life. hard because he wants you to live up to his what he did. He was the first person to search, ever. And that's why I married him. Just try to be patient with him. If he... Are you saying you can search better than me? I'm not saying I can search better than you, but I'm just saying I wanted to be a surgeon, not because of you, but I, you made such a high bar for me to jump over. Look, you're creating the high bar yourself, all right? You're born with natural surgery talents. Look. Ah. Oh, 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 well, is there a match for you? <laughs> Look, here it is. No! <laughs> Look at this. Look, whoa, check it out. Scalpel. Yeah, right? <laughs> Are you saying I just picked... 
don't do that thing with the scalpel that he does. He's just trying to impress you that you're going to hurt yourself. He's such a bad example, but such a good role model. I patent this latest uh, surgical tool. <laughs> so I know the second time he did it, he stabbed himself in the neck, and like I know we're both sad about that, but I listen. couldn't save him because I couldn't find a second glove, Mom. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I couldn't find a second glove. That's how he would have wanted to go to the hospital. He's not dead yet. But that's how he would have wanted to go. I know, but he's gonna just throw it in my face. Oh, Dad, you did great work on yourself. <laughs> You're just standing there, you know. Thank you so much for coming to my home, madam. I am so nervous about this cat. My cat, specifically. S Snickers. Give me some of the cat's clothes or uh, hobby, <laughs> hobbies or interests. All right, sure, sure. Uh, if the cat has a favorite book. He was a trap shooter. Here's his little shotgun. <laughs> oh, lever action. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was how he would groom himself with his trap shotgun. I know. Lever action. <laughs> I see a stop and shop grocery cart. <gasps> A mound of snow. A cranky policeman. Oh, okay, okay. That's a start, that's a start. Uh, okay, I'll take it back. Uh, uh. uh I, my, my turtle is kind of an introvert, doesn't really have many hobbies. Just to give me right? some of its favorite martial arts weapons. <laughs> and its favorite colored eye covering. Listen, I tried. I tried to encourage him, but there was no chance. Look, my, uh... My hedgehog was a wild and crazy guy. I just, I just have a bunch of rings of his. Oh, did he fall down? Yeah, he just he fell down and uh, I think he might have drowned. <laughs> I see a, a odd raccoon squirrel hybrid with that's, three tails. That's his friend. <laughs> I see an oddly mustachioed man with a disproportionate head to his body. Oh, that's his competition. <laughs> and I see a plumber with a mustache. <laughs> oh, hey, look. Uh, you know, I, I totally got that, uh, that deer tick off me, but ever since I got it off me, I, there's a void in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any of the deer tick's journal entries or diaries, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, it's on my arm. <laughs> I see a calf and a varicose vein and a New Balance shoe and a Nike sock. <laughs> was uh, dug up out of the earth. We found that one. <laughs> we believe it belonged to the first scalpist. <laughs> I am a scalpologist, so that was what I suspected. You was me. I'm sorry. I just sell the stuff. I don't study it. <laughs> Weird, because I just study the stuff. I don't sell it. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Uh, quick question. Uh, the grab bin, uh, do you sell by weight or by volume? Uh, by whatever sticks to you when you stick your hand in it. <laughs> you pull it out. Right. That's one. Thank you. <laughs> Whew, feels like a part of history. It is. It's a big part of history. It still ticks me off they don't write about them in the books. In the history books, <laughs> in the library, at schools, other places where they had Barnes and Noble. I looked. <laughs> you could order it, but you gotta wait. <laughs> <laughs> Just want you to respect it. So. Uh, yeah, I respect it. It's a like my holy grail, except. All right. Have you seen Indiana Jones? Because if he grabs the wrong one. Oh God! Now I'm nervous. <laughs> Turn into a skeleton. 
But also dust, I think, after that. Okay. Ah! Such good deals. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> another, another satisfied customer. That's one. You got unlucky, and that's just one stuck on there, too. Thank you. It's a big one. That's what I needed. You <laughs> dripped all over my saw. How are you feeling, Frank? You feeling good? I'm not turning into dust or a skeleton yet. No, no. No. We don't have that. Okay. I just wanted you to really know you were the field power. Yeah, it feels like I'm a part of history now, too, you know? Like I have, like it's, it's like I'm, I have Gronk's shoes in my hand. Hey, you got a chipper face. I've never seen you look so happy when you're going into Surge. Well, <laughs> here's the thing. It's easy to scourge. Nope. It's easy to <laughs> scourge. Have you, been, have you been scourging, too? <laughs> I've been surging and scourging. I told you. Yeah, it was too much power. It was too much power. The whole An hospital. Siege. The whole hospital is scourged. <laughs> <laughs> Give it to me. So sorry. <laughs> Tell it I'm sorry that I wasn't worthy of it. It hurt you. It doesn't forgive you. <laughs> <laughs> Back to scalpology school for me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, no, see. I got one of those to-go toothbrushes. <laughs> Try that out. <laughs> okay. It's not gonna help in the surgery department, but just uh. Hmm. Kind of minty in here. It's my truth brush. Damn! <laughs> <laughs> second opinion. I mean, that's not a very scientific diagnosis as it is. Todd, what are you afraid of? Why are you afraid to get into a wheelchair that you so desperately need to get into? Because of your little, itty bitty, brittle, plastic, gritty, itty bones. <laughs> Why, uh, I'm so we started feeling off? a little shame. Yeah. Um, your Pretty. Oh, those itty bitty brittle plastic bones aren't gonna do you well, but you know what? I'm gonna have to prescribe you an RV. <laughs> an RV? Yes. You're gonna have to be a nomadic now. So you see if you're in climates that are too hot or too cold, those brittle plastic bones are just either gonna shatter or they're gonna bend like no other. So you're gonna have to find. You're gonna have to stay within that good, uh, you know, 24 to 26 Celsius range of living. <laughs> Prescribe me a vehicle. Yes. That's awesome. <laughs> I can just take this to the, to the drugstore and they'll they'll give me an RV. Yes. Yeah, we take prescriptions. <laughs> Yes. Yep. So I can just drive away. Right out front. Attention, <laughs> all these customers. We're so sorry. The heat in the store is stuck on high. Oh, no. So it's going to be hotter than normal in here. What? They're going to lock it down if you don't get out soon. I better get out of here quick. Todd, slide into the wheelchair with your melted, <laughs> melty welty. <laughs> 
Before when it's I had a shame that your jaws melted, otherwise I could just <laughs> Hey. Hey. I heard about your problems. I have many problems. And I wanted to come to say that you're not the only one. I brought the whole crew with me. Oh yeah? Yeah. We all Oh, have, this is touching! We all have melted bones too. And we just <laughs> wanted to show you support. Wow! This is really, it feels good. We got a big RV and we're going to go camping together. Oh, where are you parked? At Darien Lake. All right, let's go. I'll be there. <laughs> <laughs> Sisters, 
<laughs> Here's the third name. Oh. <laughs> it's not B. Movie, fun fact. Did you know that movies were once made on film? Here's the fourth name. Oh. <laughs> Reggae. Mischievous. Please enter your answer now. How do you... <laughs> you got the question wrong. Please vacate the theater. <laughs> My engine's off. I didn't know what to do. We're on, we're on a motorcycle with a sidecar. <laughs> oh, you got a pair of fake handlebars, too. Look at that. Thank you. Mm. I like it. He so likes to feel like he's in control. <laughs> it's a deep-seated psychological issue. <laughs> anyway, I'm just idling. Sidecar, so does that get us extra points? Or Yeah, look at this scarf, it flaps in the wind when we go. I have to be very careful because it might get caught in a wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm, I'm gonna go. Oh, what? Well, well, why do you get to go first? I think I was here first. I thought it was the person to the right. Yeah, I thought it was the person <laughs> at the other side. He's relaxing. Hey, uh, don't count me. Don't count me. I'm out of this. Is that today's paper? <laughs> what? Is that today's paper? Oh, no, I've been here for about a week. Okay. Anything good happened last week? I was just trying to find no. out. Oh. Yeah. It's been, it's been bad all week. All right, this paper's pretty good. Oh, okay. You want a sidecar up here? My, uh, it's a passenger seat. It's not a sidecar. Yeah. What kind of... It's a side of a car. What kind of an intersection is this? <laughs> ah, I'm out of this. I told you. Just stay out of this. Don't... Oh. Uh. <laughs> hey, is a, a four-way? Yeah. 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 We're trying to figure out... <laughs> I, this, these handlebars are fake, so I couldn't go anywhere if I, if I wanted to. I'm actually driving a motorcycle. I'm in one of those uh, stand-up cars Yeah. To stand up in. But... It's like a Segway with walls and a ceiling. <laughs> I like this game we, we play at the four-way stop where we just describe the vehicles we're in. It's called a roof. <laughs> a ceiling and a, a ceiling. Why can't it be a ceiling? It's not a house. What? Well, inside, this, it's a ceiling of the car, right? Sistine Chapel's not a house. Also, it's a good point. It's a, it's a building. <laughs> Stay out of it. Is there anything of a ceiling or a roof? Guys, let's just face it. We're never going to get out of this four way stop. Any of us. Oh. You know, what's odd is that there's only three of us, so there's one, one way unaccounted for. Yeah, but this guy's car is turned off and he's the one going that way, so. I brought snacks. Ooh. It's been about a week, so I don't have a lot left, but I've got enough. Oh my god, would someone come move! <laughs> no snacks for him. No. Kevin? <laughs> Kevin, I swear to god. It's over. We're stuck here forever. You don't get you you can scream and rage at the heavens all you want, but we're never getting out of this four-way stuff. That's just the way it is! Just accept it. We're gonna die, just like our fathers did before us at this four-way stuff. <laughs> 
Oh. My father died at this far away. <laughs> Why did you come back here? I thought I'd get lucky. <laughs> Doctor, can you anybody else here? <laughs> did your father die at this stop within the last week? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> hey. Hey. Oh my God. Hey, did hey. you see? Hey, buddy. <laughs> I guess I can let go of my handlebars. With. Hey. Don't talk to him. He's 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 a ghost. Did you see this guy's dad die? Wait a minute. Are you? Are you a ghost? Stay out of it. <laughs> That's just what my father would say. <laughs> so definitive proof of an afterlife. <laughs> so, sounds like his, sounds like his dad just left. Sounds like. Sounds like he didn't live up to his expectations. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> you did Maybe say he's dead, but you, you still didn't live up. You, you did trust, you trust me. I don't know if I do. You almost sang cards with a dead guy. Would that have killed me too? Yup. <laughs> Room. That's right, just my mouth. <laughs> Good one. I'm gonna put my hands back on the handlebars. <laughs> Which one of you is driving me? These are fake, like, they're real handlebars, but they don't, they don't control anything. Except my heart. 